Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Liz and today I'm going to be unboxing this giant stack of boxes. Uh, it's mostly Five Nights at Freddy's stuff, but there is a few other random things that I've ordered over the past couple weeks to month. And yeah, so I'm going to unbox all of that here for you guys because there's a lot of it and I feel like we could enjoy this together. Alright, so box number one is this giant one here. Um, I already know what it is. My husband half opened it for me. So this is a box inside of another box, apparently. I'm probably going to need scissors. Oh, okay, there's scissors right here. Okay. So, pretty much, this is... Something that I ordered back in September that was supposed to come the 1st of December, but just arrived today. And today is the uh, 22nd of December. I actually had called customer service at some point because it kept just getting delayed and delayed and delayed. And it was really, really annoying. But it's finally here. It's the Five Nights at Freddy's Funko Pop Advent Calendar. I'm honestly so excited for this. It looks so great and I love the style that they're in. They're really cute. And I'm actually going to be, you're probably gonna see this unboxing before you even see this video because I'm planning on doing a Christmas special with this box. Originally I was gonna open up a, a door a day, but obviously that didn't happen because it didn't show up. So, <laughs> Now I'm going to make it a Christmas special. Alright, so box number two is actually a bag. So I'm going to open that up. Ooh, we have The Fourth Closet. And so this is the graphic novel of The Fourth Closet. It looks so nice and I've actually been waiting for it to come out. So I can just binge read the whole series again but in graphic novel form. And from what I understand, there's a different, like, each one of the graphic novels has a different artist to it. I, don't quote me on that, because I'm not 100% sure. But it definitely looks like a different artist compared to the other two. Alright, so this next package is a Five Nights at Freddy's bag. So this was a partnership that MatPat did with, I believe it was Scott Cawthon or someone on the Five Nights at Freddy's team in preparation for security breach launch. And if you are interested, I actually have a couple videos over on my gaming channel of me playing Five Nights at Freddy's security breach. I'm slowly going to be releasing them out. I know a lot of people are just binge releasing, but I don't have the kind of time to just binge play the whole thing. Plus there's parts where I got really frustrated and had to quit and walk away for a bit and then come back but if you're interested in seeing that I'll be sure to link it down below but let's get into this package I'm gonna need scissors so MatPat's actually done a Five Nights at Freddy's themed thing before and from that one I got two pairs of socks and I got my husband a hat and then my brother had actually also gotten me the jacket, which I meant to wear in this video because I love it so much, but uh, I just didn't. It's upstairs still and I don't really feel like getting it. Alright, so I've got the things out of the box, or out of the baggie. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so first we have some pins. We have Freddy and it says Rockstar on it. Monty, I think his name is. I always say his name wrong and I feel really bad. But, so his says RAR, and it shows kind of his like endoskeleton here. And then we have Chica, and it says Let's Party. And then we have Roxy, and it just says Skills. <laughs> and yeah, so they look really nice. I'm going to probably put them with my other Five Nights at Freddy's pins, which are just these little like tiny, tiny pins of the four original animatronics. As per usual, whenever MatPat releases socks, I always have to buy them because... The socks are so good, and they're soft, and they actually fit my feet. I have really big feet for a woman, so... Oh my gosh, they're so cute. So these ones have kind of like a more neon design. 
and these ones are the same design as the pins. They actually feel different. These ones have the same kind of texture as the other socks that he's done, that uh, Matt Pat has done in the past. And this one has more of like a, it feels more like a tie, like a, a tie you would wear to like a wedding. It has that kind of texture to it. So it feels a bit weird. I'm not sure how it'll feel on my feet, but <laughs> socks. So that is those. I'm excited to put these pins on my wall and add them to my collection, which I'm actually going to have to rearrange soon because it's kind of overflowing. <laughs> okay, so the next bag is going to be this random Amazon one. I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Yeah, so these are some mini magnets. So my plan is for the Five Nights at Freddy's calendar, I'm going to be putting the magnets on the bottom of each character and I'm going to put like strips of magnets underneath the little display board and I'm going to have the character's magnet onto the board so it looks like they're standing and stuff and so they don't fall over. So cute little magnets. Okay, uh, eeny meeny miny, the blue one. So this one, I don't, I think it's from a Kickstarter. I get a lot of this person's pins and I've backed a few of their Kickstarters, back to bought a few from their store, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I think this is definitely a Kickstarter. Oh gosh, look at all those goodies. Okay, so we have Celebrity AU. These are all like writing or fanfic kind of um, trope kind of pins. Domestic AU, time travel, four little hearts. We got modern, the tactician trope, the fix it fic, reader insert, mythology, everybody lives, touch starved. Then we have some this little one, which says the fic was better, canon divergent. Another one of the Fick Was Better, Fick Was Better sticker, and the Fick Was Better iron-on patch here. So these are like really good quality, they're kind of thick, they have nice rubber backings, and if you're interested in any of these, I'll definitely link her Etsy shop down below. She also has like a Patreon and all that stuff, but I'm just going to link the Etsy shop because <laughs> this is already going to be a video with lots and lots of links. Alright. Uh, let's do a box, then we'll get back to the bags again. I only have one more bag, but I have lots of boxes. So we're going to do this box. It doesn't make a noise. Okay. Okay, tissue paper. Oh, so, because I loved the style of the calendar so much, I decided to go onto eBay and I'm trying to collect all of the Five Nights at Freddy's Pint Size Heroes. It's the same style and it's also made by Funko. And so I got two mystery bags and I'm going to open these in a different video, but here they are. They look beautiful. Sorry for the stomping, the kids are playing Minecraft upstairs and for some reason that means that they get to jump a whole bunch. Um, so on to the next box. So a lot of this stuff is actually off of eBay. Some of it's Amazon, some it's eBay, some is like random, it's just all random things that I bought over the year, or not the year, over the last like few weeks or month. Ooh, yes. So. Here's an example of all of the uh, little guys I bought. So here they all are. So according to the person who sold these to me, this is the entire collection of at least the sister location ones. So we've got like Baby here, 
think that's Freddy. I can't remember if he was called Dark Freddy or what, but like the withered looking Freddy. We've got a withered Bonnie here. We've got, I think that's Toy Freddy. Ballora, Balloon Boy, the Puppet, Crying Child, Phantom Balloon Boy, withered looking Foxy. This is like a silver metallic looking Foxy. Chica, Spring Trap. This is Toy Bonnie. This guy is, he's like a green looking Foxy. This is Foxy, Golden Freddy, and this is Balloon Boy. So I'm still missing a few, but I have full intentions of collecting all of them and putting them all with the ones from the calendar. I'm really excited. And yeah, so pretty much since my Funko Pop collection is complete, which again, I still need to do like a office tour or like just a Five Nights at Freddy's look at everything that I have, but I'm moving on to collecting these guys now. <laughs> Uh, they're so tiny and cute, and yeah, I'm just really excited to collect them all. Alright, let's do this bag. This is the last bag, and then we have like five more boxes still. Oh, this is my book! The Vampire's Fall. I've been waiting for this paperback. It got lost in the mail, so I had to order a new one. I actually had talked to customer service at the same time I talked to them about the Five Nights at Freddy's calendar. I did a video on how much this book cost me to produce. If you're interested in that, I'll put a link in the cards. Got some nice tissue paper. Oh, we have more of the blind bags. So we have three more blind bags, but again, I'll be doing these in a different video, so make sure you subscribe if you're interested in seeing what's in them. Alright, this is another Amazon box, and it sounds like it's loosely packed. Oh! I got the card set. So I actually also have the board game. And I plan on making a video of just playing it and seeing what it's like. But I also got these cute cards. Um, I'll have to read how you play it. I think it's kind of like Uno or you can play Goldfish or whatever. But it looks like there's actual games. And it comes with this cute little Freddy. That's cute. I'm tempted to open them right now, but I might do it in the video where I play the board game. So again, subscribe if you want to see more Five Nights at Freddy's videos because I have a lot planned. <laughs> this slightly bigger box and then the next three are kind of smaller boxes one of them is a subscription box never cut towards yourself that's exactly what I'm doing right now don't do that So I have more of these guys. So now we have the jump scare of Valora. I think this is um, Toy Foxy. Because like Mangle is not this one, I don't think. I have no idea. <laughs> and then this is Ennard. Yeah, jump scare Ennard. Toy Freddy. I think it's Toy Freddy. No. What are the ones from Sister Location called again? I don't even remember. Oh, Fun Time. These are the Fun Times. So this is Fun Time Freddy. And then this is Funtime Foxy. LOL bit. Cute. And we have another baby and a jump scare baby. And jump scare Funtime Freddy. The shadow or dark spring trap. And then we have an Arbolora. So like all the doubles I'm planning on possibly customizing. So I have no problem with getting doubles right now. Yeah, so there's these guys and I'm gonna put them with all the others because they're all gonna get tiny little magnets right here on their, their feet. Okay, next is gonna be this box. This one is doll hair, I already know. I'm planning on doing some doll customizations in the near future and so I had to order doll hair. And these were actually on like a Black Friday sale, 
so I have some uh, little clamps and stuff for styling. I have some metallic ones. I have, I think these ones are, oh, this is a prize bundle. I thought I also got curly ones. Or did I just get metallics? Oh, what are you? Oh, I got a two color pack. That's the other thing I got. And they have their braids. Because I'm planning on doing dolls that are based off of, like, my own Five Nights at Freddy character. And her name is Molly. She's a mouse. And I also want to do Claire and Esmeralda from... Ooh, these are pretty. Claire and Esmeralda from Haunted Days. So, lots of hair. Oh my goodness, she gave me so many colors. These are so pretty. Okay, so I have lots and lots of doll hair now. Alright, two boxes left. We're going to do this blue one first. Because, again, I these last three, I know exactly what they are. Well, I know pretty much what everything was, but, like, yeah. This one I'm a bit confused about because I was supposed to get multiple of it. I ordered, like, five of them. And so far I've only gotten one, which is this one right here. Card. Oh, it's not a card. It's, it's the shipping information. So this is a little mystery Egyptian character. So this is uh, Generation 1, I'm pretty sure. And I ordered this one. And I also ordered, I think there's going to be another two of these ones. And then I also have like four or five of the newer ones coming in. I ordered them forever ago, so hopefully they all show up soon. You would think that they would ship them all in one package instead of singly. I don't know. But yeah, so I plan on doing a video with these, of like unboxing them, and if I get any doubles, I want to customize one. And then last but not least, I have my Fangirl Monthly box. So Fangirl Monthly is a subscription box that is anime themed. Uh, they have like jewelry and art prints and all that fun stuff in there. So we're just going to open this up, and this is their holiday box. Oh, I'm going to need this right away apparently. Alright, so where's the print on here? Okay, so the postcard is from Yona of the Dawn. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. It looks really pretty. I don't know what it is, but I'm tempted to read and or watch this. <laughs> okay, and then nice red tissue paper. Okay. Oh, I've seen this anime. I don't remember what it's called, but I've seen this. Oh, what's the pouch from? The pouch is from Tusaba. This. Yeah, I've I've definitely seen this. I actually have a little, like, guy, a little teddy bear. Oh, right here. See? This is the black one. There's also a white one, which is, I think, this one. But I, uh, I have a hat of this guy. This is the one I actually got for my brother when I went to Fan Expo, and I got a matching hat for myself with the white guy on it, but... He didn't want his little guy anymore, so I took him back. Alright, so what else do we have? Oh, we have a bookmark. Oh, it's so cute. It's like, it's translucent. The bookmark is obviously from Death Note. Actually, my husband might really like this. He loves Death Note. We haven't even watched the movie because we're scared that it's going to be just so terrible in comparison to the anime. And this is a little wallet. And what's the wallet from? All right, so the coin pouch with charm. It's this little thing. Oh no, it's stuck. Ugh, there we go. This is from Demon Slayer. Oh, that's on my to watch list or my to read list or whatever. That's cute. All right, now we're gonna dig into the pouch. Oh my goodness, heavy goodies. Okay, ooh, what are you? This is a pin. What is the pin from? I feel like I know nothing of these. I like getting the Studio Ghibli ones because I always know what everything is. Uh, so the pin is from Violet Evergarden. So that's cute. I like the design of it. I don't know which way it goes, but I think it's cute. Okay, and then there's a necklace. Okay. 
then the card says that this is from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. So I like the little hand, it's cute. And then, oh, I don't have to read what this is from. This is from Sailor Moon. Is this the original Sailor Moon or is this the newer one? It just says Sailor Moon. Okay, fair enough. And it's a little mirror. Hi, hi. <laughs> Yeah, it's two little mirrors. That's cute. A little compact mirror. All right, so that's all I have for you guys today. I have a lot to clean up now. There's just garbage everywhere. Uh, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want. So follow me over on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter is optional. I don't post there much. I have a Five Nights at Freddy's fan fiction up on Webtoons along with a Jurassic World and a daughter of Harley Quinn and Joker fanfiction. So feel free to head over there and check those out as, as well as pop over to Webtoons and read the first few chapters of my webcomic Haunted Days. I hope you have a great one. Bye!